Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on Java for Selenium. In this video, we'll mainly discuss polymorphism in Java. So we'll cover this topic into two parts because to complete this complete topic, we need inheritance as well. So let's see what exactly we'll get after this video. We'll discuss what is polymorphism, type of polymorphism, and what is signature, and what do I mean by signature, and we'll write a program to achieve this polymorphism. So what is polymorphism? As the name says, poly means multi forms. So in simple words, one thing in multiple forms, it will become a polymorphism. So take one example. We have a one method called add. So I can write this add method in multiple ways with default parameters, one parameters, two parameters, and multiple parameters. So you will notice method name is same, but arguments are getting changed. So whenever we talk about polymorphism, we need to remember like it totally depends on the parameters. So two type of param uh, polymorphisms you will get in Java. One is your compile time polymorphism. This is also known as early binding. And to understand this compile time or early binding, you need to understand one topic called overloading. So in this video, we'll mainly focus on method overloading. So once you are done with this method overloading, you will get to know why it called as compile time or early binding. We have another polymorphism type called runtime polymorphism. This is also known as late binding. And to achieve this runtime polymorphism, we need to understand it's a overriding. It should be method overriding. So we'll discuss this part once we will talk about inheritance. As of now, we'll stick to the method overloading. And then we will see how it is called as compile time polymorphism. So let's go back to Eclipse. Let me close the previous console. Let's create a separate package called compile time, compile time polymorphism. Click on finish. Let's create our first program for this video. I will say compile demo one, publish static void main. So let's say I have a method called public void add. This add method will accept two arguments, integer A, integer B. And if I need to add these numbers, I will say A plus B and I will directly say sum of two numbers or let's say sum of numbers is C plus C. Now, let's say I don't want to add two numbers. I want to add three numbers. So what I will do, I will again say add. So whenever I call this add method, you will see Java will throw me error. It will say duplicate method name because we have the same method with uh, same method twice. So Java will never allow you to write the same method multiple times with the same signature. So what is the signature for this? Let's talk about a, a standard definition. Methods can be uh, overloaded if and only if method has the same name, but with a different signature. So what is signature now? Signature consists of number of argument, type of argument, and order of argument. So let's discuss this first. What is number of argument? Number of argument says, if you have the same name, it's fine. You can have the same method name. But number of argument should be different. It means for this particular add method, you have two arguments. If you add one more, Java will allow you to write this method. So if I see this, Java is not throwing any error because number of argument is different. Even everything is same, but number of argument from two to three. So Java will consider this as a separate method. So now if I want to call these methods, 
I will create object of this class obj1 equal to new compile demo 1 obj1 dot so you can see when I call add method it is giving me two options so let me give 45 45 and let me pass three parameters 78 89 and 45 so if I run this program, it says sum of two number is 90 and for the second method it's giving me 212. So you can see this is called the method overloading. Same method we have overloaded. Okay, so signature is different. Signature consists of number of argument has been changed. Now why it is known as compile time binding because at the compilation itself we are aware of which method will be called so if I call this add method I'm pretty sure like it will call only this method because it is matching with this signature 45 will be matching with this 45 again will be matching with this and it will execute for this add method I'm um, again sure this will call this method because it's matching with the arguments three integer so this is known as signature with number of argument now what if I have to write one more method with two arguments again you can see this and these are same but if I still want to do this then Java have one more option for you it says you can still write but type of argument should be different it means even you have two arguments that's perfectly fine but type should be different so if I say this double A and double B Java will allow me and the reason is even though name are same number of argument to number of argument to but type has been changed previously it was int int right now it's double double so Java will allow me to write the same method again but type of argument has to be changed and the third one and which is the most important is order of argument Java says even if you have number of arguments same type of argument same but if you have order of argument changed I will consider this as a separate method it means let me create one method public void add this method will accept one integer number and another as double I will say sum a plus b and I will say the same thing and you need to give focus here it's a very interesting part when I add any integer number with double the result definitely I will get as a double right so this is known as internal type casting and this is also known as up casting because integer has been converted into double say if I add any integer with any higher data type let's say float or double it will convert into the higher data type okay so you can see it's in double 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 now if I create one more method this time you can see Java will throw error for this method because even addition is same integer is same double is same but this time I will change the order now you can see how powerful Java is even methods name are same number of arguments are same integer sorry two arguments two argument type of argument are also same integer double integer double but this time we have changed the order of argument previously it was integer and double this time it is double and integer so you can see now we have one method with different signature so don't confuse with signature signature is nothing but a number of argument type of argument and order of argument so let's call all these methods um, we have already called these let me add one integer number one with one double number let me call this method as well which contains two double values and the last one I will call 
double and integer. So you can see same method we have used multiple times but with different signature. Signature is nothing but number of argument, type of argument and order of argument. So this is known as method overloading. This is also known as compile time binding because at compilation itself we have decided like which method will be called. And why it is known as early binding? Be because before running the program itself the method has been bind like when I pass two parameters then it will be calling this method and so on. So all terms are relative so you need to understand the topic only. So now we are clear with what is method, method overloading. Same thing we can apply with constructor as well. We have another sorry we have another topic called constructor overloading in Java. So next videos we will discuss what is constructor what is constructor overloading. Everything will remain same only we will get a new concept called constructor. So in future videos you will get to know overriding as well. For this we need to understand inheritance. So soon you will be familiar with method overriding as well which is nothing but a compile time polymorphism. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.